that we're friends and it's real sincere. We're going to sing until the day we've had our fill, because we're the only chance singing from Louisville. We've had a lot of tricks, we've had a lot of tricks, we've had a lot of tricks, we've had a lot of tricks. You know, I'm not a liar, the Ritz is not for hire. We were the first to say that we're gonna retire. The gang has loved this for the last, the last we toy. We're singing extra loud, cause we're really short. It was a fun part of the revival start. When the bass was on that vowel chart. We don't know how we won, but we're still having fun. Ha 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 ha, these guys are dumb. Song and then give it some sing. The current chance will play a team in France because we might not make it through the show with Rams. Jeff wrote this song. We come from Tennessee. We went to school at Lee, and we are younger than the rest of the AIC. The horses have a song, but there's no new.
kids got together to sing, and Grandma's Boys was the result. Three months later, the boys won the Illinois district, and then college got in the way. But in 1970, they took their first steps on the international stage, placing 11th, and in the coming years, they would compete in ever more colorful outfits, here in an interesting pink. In 1974, original tenor Jeff Calhoun left to pursue a large family, and was replaced by Jim Sikorsky. In 1975, the boys took third. Then Jim left, and Don Barnick took tenor. They went into battle, and in 1978, turned real soldiers into toy soldiers and took second place. In 1979, the toy soldiers went into battle again, accompanied this time by football heroes, and the rest is history. In 1979, the boys appeared on the Jerry Lewis Telethon, NBC's Tomorrow Show, and The Mike Douglas Show. In 1980, John Middle left to pursue a career in television, and Randy Lose took base, thereby increasing the height of the quartet. Grandma's Boys continued to sing until 1985, and for J.G. Lombardo and Hank Bryant, it ended 17 years as Grandma's Boys. And now, 25 years after winning gold, Grandma's Boys takes you back to 1979. Okay, maybe with a little less hair and a few more pounds, but once again, football hero. If you haven't got a sweetie and you're wondering, Beautiful girl, you've got to be a touchdown getter, you bet. If you want to get a baby to pet, the fact that you are rich or handsome won't get you anything in girls. You've got to be a football hero to get along with the beautiful girls. Oh, when I came to old Illinois, I was just a bashful boy. I didn't have a girl to call my own. All the girls left me alone. Then I had a brilliant scheme, how to win a college queen. I kept classes to practice passes, and I made the football team. Ever since that fateful day, Everyone can hear me say, if you want to win a game, you have to play like a game. Oh, exhausting. You got to be 
side of all a million dollars can do. A tackle or two will mean more to you. And if you make a winning touchdown, they all will stand and shout hooray, hooray. You've got to be a football hero. The hero of the day. Let a winner live. Well, you came to hear champions sing, and so other than short introductions, the show chairman made me promise on a stack of harmonizers to limit my comments to occasional, very occasional, little pearls of wisdom. I attended my first international convention in 1961 in Philadelphia. And as I sat there enthralled at the Saturday evening finals, this next quartet literally blew everybody away. I nudged my wife, and this is the truth, and said, one of these days, I'm going to sing in a quartet just like that. Known for such things as innovative arrangements, handheld microphones, the Jackie Gleason Show, ten record albums, and longevity itself, here are Gene, Bob Harlan, and Todd Wilson singing bass in place of Bill King this evening. Your 1961 international champions, the Sun Tones. On the day I was born, said me father, said he, I'm an elegant legacy. It still run down to Dolly That lassie with a twinkling eye comes smiling by, and does she walk away sad and dreamy there, not to see?
Well, <laughs> good evening. Good evening, and I hope all of you are in now. And uh, uh, we are on a short rope. Uh, we, we're allocated time, and all the champs try to live to that, so I'm just going to move right along. It's pretty difficult. I sang with these fellows for 20 years, uh, just over 1,000 performances. And uh, this is my first time with a, with a slot on this show in uh, how many years? 25 years. It's been 25 years for me. So it's hard to know if you will hear the sun tones, at least with, with these guys singing. And uh, so uh, we tried to encapsulate uh, all those years of singing together. And what do you sing? Well, we knew we needed a good opener, but our heart won over common sense. Uh, Finian's Rainbow, Gene's Arrangement, uh, beautiful music from Burton Lane, Yip Harburg from both the musical theater and uh, film is a, is a song that's in our hearts. Uh, we're going to continue with another one that is in our heart. Uh, it may seem like a strange choice, but we're not going to blow anyone away with big loud chords. We're just going to we're just going to give you all the love that that is in us. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> The guy that used to announce at this point is a fellow who's not here tonight, and that's Bill Kane. I hope that uh, those of you who are saying prayers whenever you get in tonight, we hope that you'll say that. And Bill, if you're watching this on the webcast, if Betty's got you up, uh, this one's for you, big guy, because uh, you were part of this. Uh, you were the only bass this quartet had until uh, God came along and, and inspired Todd Wilson to want to sing with three old men. And I'm loving every minute of it. I, I, I do have to tell you that there's a remarkable recording that uh, two or three of our wives, along with some young people, will have in the, in the lobby at intermission time only, not after the show. There's just over a hundred pieces of it. It's a live recording that no one ever knew the Sun Tones had because the Sun Tones didn't know they had it. Uh, it is far and away the best recording that we have ever done, better than all the studio work. Take a look. A hundred of you will go home with them. The rest, the rest of you, uh, that when they're gone, they're gone, because this, is, this could very well be the last time we're singing for anybody. So we love all of you, and this is the one to whoever is next to you. If she's a gal, it makes it a little bit more convenient. Uh, this is all about love, and this is for all of you ladies. This is for all of you ladies, and it's particularly for Iris, Sandy, and Sue. And, and Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> and Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her you can reach time you speak. Make it her birthday each day of the week. Bring her nice things, sugar and spice things, roses and lollipops, and lollipops and Too many, you'll never know why. Coax her, pet her. Better yet, get her roses and lollipops and lollipops and. Try how we try, acting grown up. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a fine song that we've enjoyed singing for an awful lot of years, and uh, one of our favorites, uh, a little bit of a different kind of, a, of an arrangement you noticed. And um, we'd like to close our segment with uh, a song that um, kind of started it all for the Sun Tones in 1961. How many of you were there? Three people, thank you. And um, we've enjoyed it all of these years, and we hope we can get all the way through it. Um, and he hopes he can remember all the words. And, and you can remember more words than your dad, right? <laughs> Here we go. I've been so lonely and blue, but now. Bum bum bye 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 to those blues bye 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 to those blues don't let me hear you sigh don't let me hear you cry bells are ringing birds are singing bye 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 to those blues bye 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 to those blues Longevity is also an excellent descriptor for our next quartet. Thirty years and still going strong. The Happiness Emporium has had a very busy day. This morning they wore their Good News Quartet hats and hosted the 18th annual Good News Gospel Sing at the Cathedral of the Assumption. They had a star-studded cast of guest performers and directors, including four voices, 
the Ditchfield family singers, Jim Clancy, Stephen Ditchfield, Daryl Flynn, and Bruce O'Dell. And now, please welcome Bob, Rod, Rick, and Jim, your 1975 gold medalist, the Happiness Symposium. Brighten your life with a song. Brighten your life with some music. Begin every day with a beautiful song. The world is a stage and we're all in the play. So pack up all your troubles and sing them away. So start every new day with laughter. The future will bring happiness your way. So put on a smile and make life worthwhile and have a happy day. We're singing happy days are here again. The skies above are clear again. Let us sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again all together shout it now there's no one who can doubt it now so let's tell the world about it now happy days are here again your cares and troubles are gone there'll be no more from now on we're shouting happy days are here again the skies above are clear again let us sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again. Let us sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again. Sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here Thank you very much. What a wonderful, blessed day this has been for us to, to host the gospel sing this morning and to have over 800 of you wonderful souls over there this morning. Fantastic. And now, of course, sing on the AIC show. But our next song is really a public service announcement about the game of baseball and how it began. I would like all of you baseball fans to kind of forget everything that you ever heard about uh, Abner Doubleday how he invented this game. Pay attention because the good Reverend Jones is going to set things straight with our arrangement of the first baseball game. My sermon today, said the Reverend Jones, is baseball and whence it came. If you take the good book, Take a good look, you will find the first baseball game, it says. Eve stole first, and Adam second, Solomon umpired the game. Rebecca went through the well with the pitcher, and Ruth in the field made a name. Goliath was struck out by David, a base was made unable by Cain, and the prodigal son made a great home run, brother Noah gave checks out for rain, for rain, now old St. Pete was checking errors, also had charge of the gate, Salome sacrificed big John the Baptist, Wound up a head on a plate. Delilah was pitching to Samson when he brought down the house with a clout. And the angels that day made a double play. That's when Adam and Eve were thrown out. You're out. And Jonah wailed and went down swinging. Later he popped up again. A line drive by old Nebuchadnezzar made Daniel warm up in the pen. Say 
Satan was pitching that apple. It looked as though he might bet a more. Then Joshua let go with a mighty Blasted one right at the wall. Come along and let's play ball. Play ball. Thank you very much. Take a look at one of the many influences on our favorite type of music, barbershop. The barbershop style has been stretched and embellished by many groups over the years. Modern, jazz, pop, country, and others have contributed to the evolution of the barbershop style. Southern gospel quartets have long been popular with many groups such as our own, crossing over to participate in both styles. This next song finds a gospel music fan longing for the quartets to sing the good old songs, just like a lot of barbershoppers do, in this old cathedral's favorite, an old convention song. We used to come from miles around, have dinner on the ground underneath those old shade trees, and sing the old songs in shape, no in for part harmony. Like he said, be free, and he'll pilot me, and anywhere is home. How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? I'm still. I still love to hear, love to hear those old convention songs. That I heard, that just a little child as we sang them all day long. Like I'm a going to walk and just a little talk and go all the day long. How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? Gospel songs today have a lot to say. So near as when I hear an old convention song, I still, I still love to hear, love to hear those old convention songs that I heard, that I heard as a child, a little child, as we sang them all day long. Like I'm a going to walk and just a little talk and call all the day long. How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? Song. How, long, How long has it been since you heard an old convention song? Well, we are ready for another legendary champion. This next quartet began singing together as high school students and quickly became known for being on the cutting edge. In 1992, they stopped traveling for an indefinite period to focus on career and family. But five years later, under pressure from their many fans, released a 25-year complete works collection entitled Legacy and have been back in business ever since. 
And so tonight again, they roll the dice. You're going to hear songs that no audience has heard before. Still on the cutting edge, from right here in Louisville, Kentucky, our 1978 international champions, the Bluegrass Student Union. Let the good oh, times the roll, good times let it roll, let, the good, let roll. the good times roll, let the good times roll, oh, oh yesterday it seemed the world was about to end, it looked as though we had our last year, yesterday December waited around the bend, well my friend, spring is here, we're back in business and ain't it grand, let those good times roll, let roll well Now they're under control. Bye bye, song and verse. Happiness, hello, hello. Keep the status quo. We'll keep it permanently so. We're back in business and overnight. In demand, well, all right. Now the business is just dynamite. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll, roll, let them roll. Oh, yesterday it seemed we'd end with smile again. No matter what we ventured or how. Looked as though the fun was over till who knew when. That was then. This is now. Back in business and ain't it grand. We're gonna get the good times roll. Yesterday things were really out of hand. But now. They're under control, back to normal, back to usual, let the fun resume, let the fun resume, and there'll be no more doom and gloom, bye bye boss, hello boom, back again like a boomerang, it's the same old stand, with the same old gang, back but this time with a bang, let the good times roll, back in we're again. back in business. We're back in business once again. Back in business again. 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 Once again. Thank you very much. You know, we really want to welcome you to our hometown here of Louisville. It's not, it's Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. It's great to have you here with us. You know, over our career, we've been fortunate enough to sing music from some of the great composers of all times, George Gershwin and Meredith Wilson, and according to him, that baritone guy from Nightlife, he says. But <laughs> actually, just recently, we came across a true classic songwriter right here in our midst, right here in Louisville, Kentucky, that we didn't even know that she was here. She had a number of number one hit songs that she wrote, including that wonderful hit from back in the early 1950s, You Belong to Me. And she's here with us tonight, and I'd like to introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, to Ms. Chilton Price, sitting right over here. Chilton? There's you. Ms. Price is still writing wonderful music, even still today. And as Drayton mentioned to you, we get the opportunity to debut a couple of those songs for you right here tonight. And we think that you will agree that they, too, are destined to be classics. Oh, I shouldn't stay, but I can't run away. Everything that happens, there's an opposite reaction but how can i forget this undeniable attraction my mind and logic say to simply run away i'm sorry isaac newton but 
My heart's calling the shots today. I can run away from rain clouds. Cover my head. Strange crowds. Stay home in bed. Still, I can't run away from you. From you. I can run away from home. I can run. I can go on a spree. Earthquakes. Climb up a tree. Still, I can't run away from you, can't run away from you, you're always here in my heart, so constantly, we're never apart, you stay so close to me. I can run from the thunder just as long as I'm under your umbrella. Hanging around with you, I'm such a lucky fella. I can't run away from you, just can't run away. Whether near, whether far, no matter how far you are, your face is the only one I see. Darling, how can a fella run away from his heart? You stay so close to me. I can run away I from road bills, move out of town. Cold chills wear eider down still. I can't run away from you. Seven rooms inside, inside. I never even had a hundred dollar bill, but nothing's gonna hurt my pride. Get a little twinkle from the inside out when my bank account is looking flat. Cause I'm a wealthy fella when I think about the stuff that I got that's better than that. Wonderful life, good life, when friends surround you, love all around you, makes every day a joy to wake up to, you'll start out, you'll start and try to show, show the whole world there's nothing in the whole wide world that you can't do. Can't do it's a wonderful life. Fabulous and wonderful life when love has found you. Yes, it has. That glow around you, you. Smile upon your face makes every, every single one, one you, you meet feel, feel good inside. Your days are bright and every night's, night's like Christmas. Christmas Eve. If you believe in it's a wonderful life, a wonderful life, baby. It's a wonderful life when things are confused about what is going on. It will astound. Never believe how good you feel when those good deeds you do come back to you. Your days are bright and every night's like Christmas Eve. If you believe. If you believe it's a wonderful life, a fabulous life, it's a wonderful life, a beautiful life, it's a wonderful life. Wonderful.
champions are legendary, but there are other words that immediately come to mind for the group you're about to hear. Unique, distinctive sound, solid traditional barbershop, and of course, fabulous. They told me they weren't going to talk tonight, just sing, and of course that's why we came, yes? They were international medalists for nearly 10 years. And finally, one night in Salt Lake City, this Northeastern District champion simply would not be denied. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1980 international champions, the Boston Common. Thank you. Thank you. To shake his hand Cause music casts a spell on us That we can't understand Maybe a magician designed The magic plan He changed his wand to a baton that's how it all began. When the rhythm pounds and the harmony sounds and the melody rolls around, press or change over ten feet off the ground. And when the rhythm pounds and the harmony sounds and the melody rolls around, then right from the downbeat we can be found. Ten feet off the ground. Well, everybody, everybody puts his heart in it. Everybody plays on it. That's how music magic is made. And everybody is does get happier. Everybody's feeling happier, lighter than air. Out of his chair, ten feet off the ground. Sounds and the melody rolls around, around. Right from the downbeat, we can be found ten feet, ten feet off the ground. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank you very much. That, uh, that song was arranged by a very dear friend to everybody in this room and anybody who's ever been in this society. A man who, but for last week, would be here today. Uh, Dr. Val Hicks passed away last week. And uh, in tribute to him, we sang that song and to these next two songs as well that were arranged by his good friend, Lou Perry.
pleasure to me. A special treat, say I, from the first hello. So whatever happened to the good old songs they sang when Dad was young? They seems too bad as the years go by. You seldom hear them sing. since one of our conventions had been held in Canada. But in 1993, we had a stampede in Calgary, Alberta. It was extremely well attended, and a quartet from St. Charles, Missouri, of the Central States District, took the gold. They had climbed steadily from third to second place medals the previous two years, and won the contest handily in every judging category. This quartet is renowned for its innovative style and comedy, balanced with a superb sound. Please welcome for their final AIC performance, your 1993 international champions, the Gas House Gang. Oh, 
up here right now. Uh, I've never sung so close to a nuclear reactor before. <laughs> Actually, I think it's appropriate that since it is our last show, they put us here with this Titanic set. <laughs> King of the world! Is, yes. <laughs> My heart will go on and on. Um, so... Anyway, this guy back here was uh, Mike Slam, because y'all know Mike, he was singing baritone with us on that song. Right? And we've been very fortunate that we've been able to sing with a lot of baritones uh, lately, and, and uh, we thought, shoot, it's, you know, this is something we should probably do, introduce you to all the guys that have sung baritone with the Gas House Gang this past year. So we got a song that we're going to sing featuring all of our baritones. There's Mike Slamka and... Tony DeRosa and DJ Heiner, uh, who you all know, Kevin Keller, who's a judge, and you know him from Cheers, and then Johnny Maroney. Uh, Johnny, you all know, will know Johnny because he'll be in the college quartet contest tomorrow. So we're going to sing this song featuring all of the Gas House Gang baritones <laughs> that we had a chance to sing. Ding, 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 Desmond has a barrel in the marketplace. Molly is the singer in the band. Desmond says to Molly, girl, I like your face. And Molly says this as she takes him by the hand. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, life goes on, brah, la, la, the life goes on. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, life goes on, brah, la, la, the life goes on. Desmond takes a taxi to the jeweler's store, buys a 20 karat golden ring, takes it back to Molly standing at the door, and as he gives it to her, she begins to sing. 
House Gang started 17 years ago, believe it or not. We sang White a Rose for the Alton Municipal Band concert, and uh, we didn't realize we'd... Thank you. Alton, thank you. Uh, somebody from Alton. I guess so. They play in a municipal band, I guess. And, uh, and uh, back then, we actually had a different tenor, uh, Joe Fink, who sang with us for our first two international contests, and Joe Fink is here. We'd like to introduce you to our original tenor, Joe Fink. Where is he? Joe Fink. There he is. We've been through a lot together uh, as a quartet. Uh, we've been through the greatest times in the world, and we've been through, of course, the worst times in our lives, especially uh, over this past year. Last year at this time, uh, probably the lowest point of our entire lives when my brother Rob, our baritone, uh, was diagnosed with cancer. His biggest hope was to go to Montreal last year and watch the contest, and he wasn't able to do that. As a matter of fact, he was in a hospital room. Uh, but I remember the webcast and remember all the cheers, and he got to see and hear all of that. And for that, we will always be eternally grateful to all of you for that. Uh, it's been really a hard year for us. Rob died in September 4th of last year, and, and uh, we've been since then able to sing with all these guys that you saw with us and, and trying to figure out what we're going to do. There's... His death affected us all in so many ways. Um, I, for instance, as you can see, gained a lot of weight back. And uh, I've tried everything to lose it, short of diet and exercise. <laughs> and uh, we have so many people to thank. Um, Obviously, uh, our coaches and arrangers, David Wright, uh, Ambassadors of Harmony, our home chorus, who's always been with us, um, and uh, our, our families. Obviously, we could certainly never do this without the families, but most importantly, for the past 17 years, we have always been lifted up 
by all of you uh, and all of you who are watching on the webcast. We just, how can we ever thank you enough for inviting us to be a part of your lives and your stereos and your shows, and we just appreciate that so very much. We're going to continue to do shows. We've got shows booked through the spring of this coming year, and then uh, that'll be uh, then it'll be time for us to sort of get off our horse and, and let the younger generation come. We, we know it's time for us to step down when they put us on the same half with all these old quartets. <laughs> So, but, uh, <laughs> well, you know, so for our final uh, song and our final AIC show, uh, there's only one baritone that we want to sing with, and uh, we're going to sing, uh, starting with the original three Gas House Gang members, and then uh, we'll kind of have Kip take over, and just kind of like we did, but there's only one baritone that really should be singing with the Gas House Gang, and thanks to... The miracle of technology, we're able to sing our last show with Rob. When I was They still shine, still shine bright. Most things are the same, the same. but I miss my dad tonight. I walked by a salvation army store, saw a hat like my
14 years ago, four music teachers from Northwest Ohio became champions. The barbershop influence they have had in the classroom as well as elsewhere bodes well for a golden future. And now we begin the second half of our show saying goodbye to another of our champion quartets. Although they will be participating in other convention events, tonight is their last official performance. Jim Schistler, Nick Nickel, DJ Heiner, and Ben Ayling won the gold in 1991. But for these four music educators, that was only the beginning. Watch the screens now for a very special presentation. I've roamed this country all my life, made lots of money. Good evening and welcome to Louisville. Join us as we take a look back at 20 years of friendship and harmony with The Ritz. It all started on a cold and stormy night in 1984. Okay, it was a nice day and Nick was out walking his dog. He walked by Ben's house and was invited in for, as our friend Ken R. would say, an adult beverage, and the two became fast friends. A couple of calls, a meeting in St. Louis, and presto, the Ritz was born. A few months later, the Ritz won the Pioneer District Contest and went on to their first international in Minneapolis, where they placed an impressive 15th. The next year, the quartet upped their position to 13th. And then, in 1987 in Hartford, just three years after its conception, the Ritz jumped into the top ten, coming in sixth, merely a whisker away from the medals. Just a few months later, the Ritz was dealt an unexpected blow. Clay Schumar left the quartet for personal reasons. Months after almost winning a medal, the Ritz was only three. Then a young guy named DJ Heiner auditioned for the baritone spot. He immediately sang as though he were already a member of the quartet. So, in January of 1988, DJ officially became a member of the Ritz. The quartet switched over to the Johnny Appleseed District, and barbershop legend Don Claus became their primary coach. The Ritz placed ninth at the San Antonio Convention in 1988, and then seventh in 1989 in Kansas City. It was here that their performance of Sweet Adeline set the standard for all that would follow. So my life's gonna now it's 1990. The Ritz continues to work hard and smart under the guidance of Don Claus and Cindy Hansen. And in San Francisco, a fourth place bronze medal is the prize. And now it is here. Louisville, 1991. You could literally feel the excitement in the air. It felt as though everyone knew, but no one would say, well, you know. The Ritz met with Don and Cindy only for short sessions before each round. Round one. The quartet came out and literally assaulted the audience and the judges. After the fact, many said, including judges, that in their minds it was all over after Red Red Robin. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Round two. Keepsake has an awesome hit right before the Ritz sings. A great shot for our boys, but not as solid as the first round. We would later learn that the Ritz had won the first round and Keepsake the second. It was a dead heat going into the finals. Don and Cindy have a serious and very frank talk with the boys. Well, do you want this or don't you? Come on, get the fire back that we saw in the first round. It must have been fate. The Ritz drew the last spot in the finals. And what song had they saved for last? Of course. In the evening, as I sit alone and dream. Now we could only wait. Your fifth place bronze medalist quartet, 190, 139th Street Quartet. Phew. And your fourth place medalists are the Naturals. All right, we did better than last year. The third place medalist is Gas House Gang. Oh my God. Your silver medalist quartet is 
keep safe. Oh my God. Don Claus pulls the boys in and says, congratulations, champs. Nick, already in tears, says, they didn't say it yet. It's not true unless they say it. And then the words so many have dreamed of hearing. And your new 1991 International Champion Quartet is The Ritz. So, what do you do after you get home from winning the gold? You pack for Australia and New Zealand, of course. Just three days after winning the International Championship, the Ritz embarked on an 11-day tour of the land down under. It was a whirlwind trip, including 22 separate performances, and that was only the beginning. The Ritz flew some 70,000 miles in the next 12 months, making appearances all over the country. Also, they somehow managed to produce their fourth recording. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one last time your 1991 International Quartet Champions, The Ritz. Thank you. Thank you. When we talked about what this, our final performance, should include, one of the things that immediately came to mind uh, to each of us was this. In every international competition we were in, there was one song that we sang. And on this very stage in 1991, it was the last song sung in the entire contest. We think it's only fitting that this be the last song we sing for you tonight, so please bear with us if we have a little trouble making it through. Yeah, so if I give the signal, just jump in. I'm sure you've stolen it off the CD by now. <laughs> <laughs> In the evening, as I sit alone, of days gone by, love to me so dear. That in frenzy of the feeling brings back the time love when you were near so near. It is that I wonder where you are, my darling, and if you. Still the same. For the sighing wind and nightingale is singing, are breathing only your own sweet.
Thanks. Thank you so much. The year was 1996, and the place, Salt Lake City. For only the second time in the history of our society, both the chorus champions and the quartet champions were from the same chapter. The Masters of Harmony Chorus from the Foothill City's California chapter featured among its ranks a foursome who were seasoned competitors, had been in the medals the previous three years, had a very special sound, and were totally ready for the kill. From the far western district, here are Rob, John, Jeff, and Brett, your 1996 international champions, Nightlife!
There's blue. Oh, sing it, Jeffy. That's, I am singing right now. You're talking. Well, I'm going to have but we're, we're just into the moment. We're into the moment. We're, help, we're oh, you're, helping. We're into it. It's, it's, that's what you're talking about. You say into it. Into it. Right. Where was it? Blue. Don't ask me to do that again. Blue. Blue. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, Sweet Adelines International members, Harmony Incorporated, and members of the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. Yeah! We are so happy to be here tonight. Now, I know that uh, just before we came on, the Ritz had on Channel 5, no, that was something else, Ritz had uh, some videotape of their performance here, the competition in 1991. Now, that was our very first year at Phoenix. 1991, right here in Louisville. Was anyone here in Louisville that year? Thank you, all nine. It's very good. Now, um, we were very fortunate because uh, backstage we found a bunch of videotape that the Ritz decided not to use. <laughs> and it's of us. As <laughs> so actually, we... Uh, we, uh, we wound it back up on a spool, and we gave it to the guy in the back. We're going to try to play that once. Now, see if you remember this uh, little happening. Can we roll that beautiful bean footage? <laughs> yeah. Now, I'd like to point out first that the suit I'm wearing, it's fuchsia. It's not pink. And it's kind of a modified mullet haircut I have going on there. Party in the back right there. Look at them shoes, huh? That's right. We got, you know, the ladies are probably accustomed to this. You dye your shoes. We've never done that before. You don't want to think you look funny walking in with a pair of shoes. Can you make these fuchsia shoes just like this? And then they look at your mullet and they go, yeah, okay, okay, you're on Broadway. You might notice there were stage presents uh, going on in the nightlife. I think it was the last time. first international competition. Four just boneheaded people who didn't know what they were doing with our coach, Dr. Greg Line. Very fortunate to have Greg uh, helping us through the years. And we walked off stage feeling pretty good. We, no one had forgotten their words or fallen down or anything, so it went pretty well. And we walk off stage and we get right back here in the, right around the back, uh, there's a hallway. We came out, well, you know, how do we do? <laughs> and Greg, you know, Mr. Confidence, you're in the top 20, don't give it a second thought. Shake, shook our hands, you know. And when Greg tells you that, at least we thought, he's right. <laughs> so, you know, he said, well, let's get rehearsing and let's call about renting some tuxedos and we'll get on that. So uh, these guys, I believe, went to bed and Brett and I thought we better go back and hear the call off. We want to hear our name, you know, in the top 20. And uh, we came right down here. Uh, there was a table set up right down here on the side and they... Uh, Brett and I were right back there in that center door, weren't we? Right? Mm -hmm. Center right back there, and they're calling off, singing first. The president, president, said, uh, that's a, and then you get up to singing 15th, and I had a feeling by the time we got to 15th that we weren't going to be in there. And 16, 17, 18, 19. 
evening the twentieth. I said, "Well, you know, Greg can't Mike testers certainly, Mike testers wait first. Greg said, <laughs> and he has perfect pitch. <laughs> it does. So we have a guy Not that it's necessarily relevant to the story, but he does have it. <laughs> so, uh, and Mike testing your." The Zornan Platts brothers, or something. I'm not really sure what it was. So we kind of hung our heads and, well, let's go. Uh, gotta be 20 second, because Greg has perfect pitch. So let's go down. <laughs> Don't you, Greg? Yes, okay, all right. Can we hear an A? All right. Hey, now. <laughs> so Brett and I come over, and you know we're new. Nobody knows who we are, and we don't know anybody internationally. So go up to the gentleman at the table and say we're uh, we were a competitor today, and we didn't get our name called. We'd like to just kind of find out where we placed and get our video. So he says, "What's the name of your quartet?" Uh, we're Nightlife. Okay. So he picks up the, the uh, what do you call that thing? Clipboard. 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 And he goes, uh, "Okay, uh, Nightlife. All right." So he's got you know from twenty one on down. He, <laughs> how, do you, how do you spell that? Is it with an N? <laughs> it's with an N, night, night. Okay. Right. No! <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. And I said night, it's one word, nightlife. <laughs> we must have been like in the 20s. He's got perfect pitch, and then they go on. And about the third page, he goes, uh, Oh, uh, yeah, uh, 31st. Boom. Threw the, threw the uh, clipboard on the table, and with it, cro crushed my heart. I just want to tell you. <laughs> Perfect pitch or not, I'm going to have a broken heart, Greg. So uh, it's a, I, that's, not, that's really just a story to say to you guys and you ladies in the competition that it hurts, but it doesn't kill you. You know? It, you can come back from something like that. The next year we were... 11th, 4th, 2nd, and then, of course, 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> that, that killed. That hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember that day like a... Like it was in Miami. And then, of course, uh, we went on to win the darn thing, fortunately enough. Now, we... Uh, was there a wind-up for that story? No, I forgot. No, that was it. Okay. No, that's not what it was. Don't give up. That's what it was. Uh, you know, just keep going because I love these guys, but they're not always right. <laughs> I still have the medal, right? I didn't, I didn't take it yet. All right. Uh, Yes, okay, we'll just finish right up then. We're, we're going to do one more song uh, before we go, and it's, uh, it's a song we'd like to dedicate to our uh, the loved ones, our, our ladies in our lives, our wives, Karen, Connie, Patty, and Pat. And uh, a special uh, shout-out, as the kids say, to my wife, Patty, whose birthday is today. And uh, that's right. There, honey. You mean there's got to be more? And if you check page 39, you'll find my wife's picture in there in the Sweet Adeline's ad. So make sure you come up and she'll do the pose for you. She'll do this for you, the pose. But anyway, we're going to sing, Oh My Gosh, It's Dark. All right. I think my, my wife has gotten control of the lighting board. All righty. Well, we're going to sing this song. We want to thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful convention, and we'll see you later. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless she loves you.
Western District has produced over the years eight gold medal quartets. Their latest triumph occurred in Atlanta just six years ago. This quartet won it all in less than three years after ringing their very first chord and since that time have performed in 40 states and five foreign countries. This will be their last AIC show as they plan to retire as a quartet next April. Active leaders in their chapters, they are quick to share with you their love of singing barbershop and gospel music. Here they are, Royce, Mike, Mike, and Bill, your 1998 International Champions Revival. Shingles ain't got time to fix the shingles, ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to fix the shingles, ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to fix the shingles, ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to fix the shingles, ain't got time
got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to have the engine or to man the window pane. Ain't gonna need this oh, so long. I'm ready, ready to meet the saints. Soon I'll meet the saints. So, my old time, the light's sleeping. You don't know I'm gonna need. As he wake up by the fireplace and he sit there how and grieve. But my hunting days are over. Ain't he gonna have the fear no more? Keep your thumb out in the chain when the wind blew down the door. Oh, no longer ain't gonna need the sun no more. Ain't got time to fix the shingles. Ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to warm the hinges. Not a man the window pane. Ain't gonna need this house no longer. Won't need this house no longer. Don't want it any longer, I'm getting ready, yes, my Lord, I'll be ready to meet the saints, I'm getting ready, ready to meet the saints. Well, thank you. Boy, we just can't believe that it's been nine years since we first got together in 1995, in the summer of 1995. Well, we've had a great ride. We've been to a lot of great places, and boy, we've been blessed. And you know, Mike, uh, we've actually traveled to 40 states and five foreign countries. My goodness, what memories we've had. Huh? Yeah, I'd like to take this opportunity right now to, uh, because we're retiring, to thank Fred. Fred has been so kind to include us in so many of the lyrics of their songs. <laughs> at, at our expense. And, uh, well, we got to thinking about it, and who cares about Fred? <laughs> uh, Mike, we're retiring? Well, you were supposed to tell him. <laughs> You know, anybody who's ever sung in a quartet. Thank you. Anybody who's ever sung in a quartet knows that there really are more than four people in a quartet. We've had to work with some just wonderful, wonderful people. And I'll tell you what, it's just been wonderful. I think it was Cindy Hansen, Larry Ager, all these wonderful, why, even Dr. Greg Line we had the opportunity to work with. <laughs> It's really good, Royce, but uh, I'd like to tell you all how I got started in barbershopping. It was back in Evansville. Well, hey, 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 well hey, actually, hey. you know, uh, I actually got my start right here in Louisville back in the 60s, quartetting with a little bit of group called the Citations. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, of course, I was the baby in that outfit, you know. <laughs> baby Huey, yeah. Um, <laughs> Y'all remember the Citations? Weren't they great? Absolutely. Under the direction of Mr. Jim Miller. I remember one time Jim actually introduced us on a show. He said, we're three of the best singers he's ever heard in his life. That's true. Absolutely. Well, you know, since we are retiring, seriously, we would like to thank the great Far Western District, all those wonderful chapters out there, San Diego, the Masters of Harmony, La Jolla. You know, we'd really like to thank the Westminster Chorus. However... Unfortunately, uh, the problem is uh, they won't let us in because we are too old. I don't know what the heck it is. We would also... <laughs> love, 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 crazy love. You can do it. You can do it. We would also love to thank you and all the audiences that we've ever sung for and all the different chapters that we've had the opportunity to sing for. We've also had the opportunity to spend the day when we've been out sometimes with some of the greats of barbershop. Unfortunately, some of them are no longer with us. Dr. Val Hicks, 
and Lou Perry. They're just excellent, excellent people. Our only regret, though, is that we also didn't have the opportunity to sing with all of your chapters. We, want, we would be remiss if we didn't take this one moment, our last moment here on the Edge, to show to thank all of our coaches. We have to thank Kim Holbert, Greg Ryan, and Cindy Hansen because they were with us from the very beginning, right from the very first score we ran. We have to thank David Wright, David Briner, and uh, Ed Weishi for their music, which inspired us and lifted us beyond heights we never imagined. I'd like to thank Jim Casey, Bobby Gray, and the late Larry Ager for their guidance. Thank you just doesn't seem quite enough. Most importantly, though, we'd like to thank our families because they're the ones that gave up precious time so that we could have this opportunity to enjoy this great quartet experience. These, in particular, our wives, Denise, Joanne, and Kim, and all of our kids. We love you very much. And of course, whoever the future Royce Ferguson, Miss Royce Ferguson would be. So we'll say a uh, final thank you and farewell to Revival. And we appreciate your enjoying or uh, helping us enjoy our music and sharing our music with us for these last nine years. You know, we've tried our very best to be Joe Barber shoppers and try to be genuine barber shoppers. And yes, in fact, we are going to finish that second CD this fall, so look for that coming up. And uh, so now we're going to take you back to 1998, to Atlanta, and the song that sort of kind of wound up our signature song, and we'll close with that, and it sort of goes like this. Hey, hey, Praise God, just what it takes to be a ladies, ladies man, when he struts along and swings his cane, husband's tied and winds up with a ball and chain, just a sentimental gentleman from Georgia, Georgia, gentle to the ladies all the time, all the time, when it comes to loving, he's a real Yes, sir, just a Mason Nixon Valentine, Valentine. You see those Georgia peaches hanging around him now. What this baby teaches, nobody else knows how. That sentimental gentleman from Georgia, Georgia, gentle to the ladies all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me sell him, brother. Like that strutting ladies' man Just see those Georgia peaches hanging around him now wow. What this baby teaches, nobody else knows how Sentimental gentleman from Georgia Georgia, gentle to the ladies Oh, those ladies Gentle to the ladies all the time All the time A far western quartet came to Atlanta and won the gold. The next year, an Atlanta quartet traveled to the far west and returned the favor. When we met in Anaheim, California, little did we know that a true phenomenon was about to occur. One of your established and favorite quartets actually remembered the tags to all six songs in that contest. <laughs> They unmercifully hammered the judges with song and comedy, and the panel was so whelmed, they finally surrendered. <laughs> they finally surrendered and agreed. What the heck? Please welcome your 1999 quartet champions to the AIC stage, Fred! Go through. 
I'm sorry, ma'am. Is this your seat? <laughs> we may not go far. Keep it down. I want to hear these guys. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> but sure as a star. This is Max Q, isn't it? <laughs> Wait. Although Jeff Oxley looks sick on the end there. He doesn't look so good. Wherever we are. Can we have the house lights up, please? Maybe he's in your purse. <laughs> well, it's me for you and you for me. We'll muddle down whatever we do together wherever we go. Together wherever we go. Wherever we go. Whatever we do. We're gonna go through it together. We may not go far, but sure as a star wherever we are. Help me look for a little short, bald guy. I know he's got to be around here somewhere. Joe, he's on the stage. <clears throat> Wherever I go, I know he goes. Wherever I go, I know he goes. No fist, no fight, no fools, and no egos. Amigos together, through thick and through thin. Wind plays or show, but it's me for you and you for me. We'll muddle down whatever we do together wherever we go. Oh, together wherever we go. Together wherever we go. Together wherever we go. Could, could you could you go uh, help us here? Uh, maybe check the women's restroom. He's been known to hang He's out got, there a little bit. Is, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. We're just going to continue on the show here. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, one of the great things about being a quartet is singing songs from all over the country. We get to do songs from the north and the south. This is a very special song now about the northern part of our great land. Imagine, if you will, a long time ago, people waiting for the riches and their relatives to come from overseas. This is a song called Coney Island Washboard Roundelay. It's a great song with melody and lyrics, great rhythm. Gives it a chance to do all sorts of great things. And... <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... What are you doing? Well, yeah, you said it. Uh, this is a rhythm song. It's Coney Island Washboard. I yeah. like it, and I, I can do all the rhythms, and so I thought I would come out here and, and help you out. Where do you bring this stuff? I mean, nobody owns these anymore. I, I do it. I own it. And uh, and I uh, I was in the uh, – I was a drummer. You know I was a drummer, and I was in the horn section a long time ago, and I was also the construction worker in the village people. Yeah, and so I, I oh, think, oh, oh, I see. So you're like a one-man band. Yes, yes. Ah. As a matter of fact, I was I was in a one-man band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was a great group of guy. It, uh, it we had a good time. It was. You were 
in a one-man band. Yeah, that's right. I was in a one-man band. You were? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Well, we broke up. That makes sense. Yeah, you know. All right, that's right. Coney Island, you right. play then. Yep. Oh, 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 here on the boardwalk every day. Soaps suds all around, pretty bubbles on the ground. Rub a dub a dreaming in the tub, all those tunes she's found. Bimbles on her fingers, make the noise. Make the noise. Charles along the landing for the boy. For the boy. She can rag a tune right through the knees. A brand new pair of BBDs. Coney Island, watch for Brandon Lay, little, little lady. Coney Island, watch for Brandon Lay. Hey! Uh, Why aren't you playing? Yeah. Because we're not to the rhythm part of the song. Oh, no, yeah, we're, we're about done with the song. Hurry up. Bum, 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 da, 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 you know, I don't really think you're a one-man band. I don't think you're a one-man band. Uh, I am. A one-man band plays lots of instruments at one time. Right. Well, you're just kind of... No, it was... You've got to hit it and scrape it. First thing I did... We'll play I'm it, gonna, all of it. It's got to have it all. Come on. You want all of it together? That's what yeah. a one-man band does. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Gentlemen from Georgia, man, a man, old gentleman. What happened? You, you stopped singing. Just you, all of a sudden, you stopped. We uh, we cannot hear ourselves. Uh, well, I couldn't hear you either, but it didn't stop me. Uh. You know, we got a job wait, to wait, do. Wait, wait, got, wait, wait. I got an idea. How about this? How about we try this? How about how about you stand still, right? And we'll play you. What do you think? No, it'll work. He likes it. Why do I have? Can I move around? No, I'm not a drummer, and something right. might happen, and we're, you're not insured. And if I go like this, hey, oh. whoa. Okay, I won't do that. I won't move at all. Yeah. Bad things might happen. It's a new jacket. Oh, oh. All right, here we go. Bum, 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 da, 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 comes the part of the show that, uh, like so many other uh, events and announcements tonight, it's time for us to make a, a very timely and, and regrettably sad announcement uh, pertaining to quartet retirements. Happiness Emporium is not going to retire. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> we're, and we're all sad about that. We're in trouble. We're in we're trouble. In trouble. <laughs> we'll have to sit back there the rest of the show. Right. Right, one of the things, though, that you may not know about the quartet is that uh, we have been together for about 13 years now. And uh, as Nightlife said, it is a fantastic journey. I want to let you know one thing about uh, our quartet. After we picked our name, 
the very first rehearsal, we went out and bought letters that we have worn on every show, on every contest since then. And they mean such a great deal to us. Our name, the letters that we wear that made us look like a, a shiny lapel pin, but they're in fact very, very special to us. F. R. I'm not Dean Dean. Thank God I'm not Dean not Dean I like Dean That's who I am I wear the F And stand way down here Down here I wear the R And just like the F I'm glad I should heed the call. The call. I won't settle down. down. But I must confess. He must confess. I stood here for 13 oh. long years. Oh. And now I want to switch. switch. Ah! No, 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 no. Just for one song. Just let me in for one song. <laughs> I got something for you. I'll go it alone if that's how it must be. My friends, the R and the F, well, they're counting on me.
Just as there aren't any Freds in Fred, there are no Jakes in Michigan Jake. What's more, these men aren't even from Michigan. They come from the Cardinal District, and their name is from a cartoon character, a frog no less. Having two silver medals to their credit, they won the gold three years ago in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. These trend-setting guys are known for their rhythm and tempo accuracy, their unique style and arrangements, and for living in California, Kentucky, and Florida the year they won. Please welcome Drew, Mark, Joel, and Greg, your 2001 international champions, Michigan Jake. started to flare, how it spread from its bed, how to old Lord he knows where. Well, way down south, the banjos cry to the deep blue, they all hide behind to, while moonbeams dance on the bayou, that's how rhythm was born. They are in great praise, the mighty forgiver, they wash their sins in the river. Cold water made them all shiver, that's how rhythm was born. Our folks came down and gathered around that swanee shore. Caught the craze and sang its praise, my lord, why don't you give us some more? Ask any creole you find round, who brought the rhythm to downtown. They'll give you high ups, the low down, that's how rhythm was born. the graves and sang its praise and cried, Lord, give us some more. Ask can Creole you happen to find out who brought the rhythm to downtown. And when you do, they're going to give you the low down. That's how rhythm was born. To the dirty deep blues, they all hide behind you. A wild moonbeam stands on the bayou. That's well, they all praise the mighty forgiver. They wash the sins in the river. The cold, cold water it made them shiver. That's how rhythm was born. People came down and they heard about it. And they all gathered round that swanee shore. They all caught the grave. Of our days, give us some more. Ask any Creole you find round who brought the rhythm to downtown. I'll give you high ups to low down. That's just how rhythm was born. They all went down and washed in the river. That's how rhythm was born. Cold, cold water well it made them all shiver. And rhythm was born. Rhythm was born. Rhythm
got something? You know, this is so humbling. What an amazing moment. We are so honored to have the, to let the AIC, uh, to, we are so thankful that the AIC let us sing for you tonight. Uh, to follow Fred is just something we can never forget ever. <laughs> Although we really, really want to. <laughs> Starting right now. You know, there's a lot of announcements being made and guys, it's probably time. We need to, we need to make one as well. It's, it's very hard to say such a thing, and it's a very touching thing to say, but uh, we have a new CD out. <laughs> That's right. The title track is That's How Rhythm Was Born. It's, it's found at the Harmony Marketplace at the Michigan Jake booth. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, for those of you who bought it already, thank you very much. And for those of you who have it, come on. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? And that's all we have to say tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Drew, I think you forgot something very important. Actually, we do have a second announcement uh, that you've probably already heard about, and we have indeed decided to hang up uh, the pitch pipe this year and call this our retirement as well. A lot of people have been talking to us about the intelligence of releasing a CD and then retiring, and we have definitely thought about that, but the truth of the matter is we've been considering retiring because we do live, I live on the Pacific Coast, he lives on the Atlantic Coast, and these guys live in the middle somewhere, and it does make it quite difficult to stay together. But we did want to put together a second recording, and we worked very hard and are very happy about that. But um, unlike other quartets who have other shows to finish up, we actually don't. So um, I think people were trying to tell us something, so we took the hint, I guess. It's, no, and that's not it at all. The fact of the matter is, we uh, have been considering it for a while. So, in fact, the next song you're going to hear is going to be the last song you'll hear from us. Um, except for the Sing of the Champs thing tomorrow. But other than that, this is going to be it. We would definitely like to thank, um, I would say, the two people who have had the most influence on our quartet. We started in Louisville. Um, back with the Louisville Times Chorus, it uh, was really where the four of us met. And um, it was 1995 uh, at the International in Miami where we decided to start singing together. I have no idea what he's going to say next, so I can't take it over for him. That's okay. Give me a second. Um, we started, Greg and I have been singing for a long time. And we grew up with a fellow named David Harrington, who's such a good friend of ours. And we learned to sing with this guy, and he taught us more than you can imagine. And uh, uh, we learned about how to sing like a champ, and uh, have taken that, and we've gone with it. And a second fella, by the name of David Wright, who heard us and saw potential in what we were doing. And uh, he's responsible for making us really who we are as far as our style goes. He's given us all the great ideas, said try this, try this. And we are so honored to tell us. Tell us. And uh, nothing we ever do will, will ever live up to the wonder of knowing such wonderful people. Them and the rest of the AIC is, uh, it's a gift. And we're very, very honored to share that with you. We're going to sing one more. It's our most famous, our most popular, and our favorite tune. David did it for us, of course, and uh, thank you for everything. Song my 
I can't even remember when I was in my 20s, but then I can't remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> These next young whippersnappers are another example of going way out west, this time to Portland and bringing it home to Dixie. They hail from the voices of Lee University in Cleveland, Tennessee, won our collegiate championship in 96, the district in 99, international top 20 in 2000 bronze medalist in 2001, and the top prize a year later. They are known for difficult arrangements, individual vocal talent, and an incredible sound. Here are your 2002 international champions, Four Voices!
Thank y'all so much. Uh, we've just had such an awesome time just traveling around and being a part of your families and your shows. And as you know, we come from Tennessee. Now, Tennessee is the home of country music. Yeah! Do we have any country music fans in the audience tonight? Seven people. Great. This is going to be perfect. Well, we thought, you know, Jason here is a little bit of a, of a guitar player, and he loves country music, and we love country music, and so we've always wanted to do a good country song. At the same time, we've never really said thank you to the people who are absolutely most special to us, and that's our wives. I mean, you, we could not be here without their support, and that said a lot, but I mean, truthfully, they're so supportive, and we've never really, you know, dedicated a song to them or written a song for them, so we thought tonight we'd kill two birds with one stone, yes, sing a country song. Dedicated to our wives. So, honey, I know you're out here tonight, wherever you are, somewhere. And um, we want you, this song goes out to you guys. So we love you. Here we go. Well, I love her. 
and I love to sing. I spend all day with these three guys, and pain is all it brings. Today she met me at the door. She said I'd have to choose if I sing just one more tag today. She'd be packing all her things and she'd be gone by noon. Well, I'm gonna miss her when I get home. Tonight I'm on this stage here. Singing just for fun, I'm sure it'll hit me. When I walk through that door tonight, yeah, I'm going to miss her. Ah, oh, who cares? That cord was tied. Everybody, well, I'm going to miss her. Just for fun, I'm sure it'll hit me. When I walk through that door tonight, well, I'm going to miss her. Oh, who cares? How much will I? I'll watch her name when I get home. Um, <laughs> we're going to do one more, but before we go, we had um, originally decided not to, to talk about this tonight, but <laughs> here we are, and um, it's kind of, you know, this has been, a, it's been an awesome evening. So many of our um, heroes are stepping down, and so we just thought we'd go ahead and announced tonight, let everyone kind of in on it, that um, we're definitely not retiring. In fact, you're not going to be able to get rid of us. We're going to be like Fred. You're not going to want us around anymore. We're going to be so annoying. I mean, it's going to be bad. It's going to be awful. So uh, thank you so much, and here we go. Well, ain't she fine? My, oh, my, that gal so fine. She's so divine. So divine, so fine, so fine. And I'll shout it right out loud, so proud, so proud. She That's my baby now Yes, ma'am, we've decided No, ma'am, we won't hide it Yes, ma'am, you're invited now Invited now By the way By the way When we reach the preacher I'll say I'll say Yes, sir, that's my baby No, sir, I don't mean maybe Yes, sir, say That's my baby now Right now Well, yes, sir That's my baby now Right now 
And who's a who I rave about? Who do I feel blue without? Winter, summer, spring, and fall. Spring and fall. Yeah, what was I just going to say? I forget. But anyway, here's the most important thing of, of all. Here's the best of all. Oh, yes, I'm in a world because that's her. Oh, that's my baby. No doubt that she's my girl. Say no, sir. And I don't mean maybe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's her. Yes, sir. That's my baby now. Baby now. Ma'am, I confess, ma'am, that we decided. No, it's re ma'am, I don't know, ma'am, no, we won't hide it. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, you're invited. I'll allow you're all mine now. By the way, there's one thing I want to say. By the way, on this lovely wedding day, when we the preacher, you're going to hear me say, I'll shout it right out loud, so proud, so proud. Well, well, look at that baby, do tell, don't say maybe. Well, well, what she calls around. Who boy should she be, sir? No one else but me, sir. Yes, sir, that's my baby now, my baby now. One more time, here's a, here's a line that I'll deliver to the preacher. She's all mine. Yes, sir, that's my baby. And no, sir, don't be maybe. Yes, sir, I say that's my baby now, right now. Well, yes, sir. That's my baby now, that's my baby now. I don't mean maybe, yes, ma'am, so you're invited now. Oh, you're invited now, right now. Traditional barbershop, family values, persistence, consistency, and incredible heart. Here they are, the Slamkas. Don, Mike, Mark, and Jack, your 2003 International Champions Power Play.
what good are words I say to you? They can convey to you what's in my heart. Here instead, the things I. that I'm so lucky to be loving you, loving you. So lucky to be the one you run to see. Passing years will show you've kept my love so young, so new, so new, and time after time, you'll hear me say that I'm so lucky to be loving. Passing years will show just how we get this love divine. And time after time, you'll hear me say. You know, I'm just realizing something as I walk up to the microphone. This is the first time I've ever actually spoken on this stage. Uh, usually it's just, you know, competing, but uh, this is, I'm not really sure what to do here. Uh, <laughs> wow, our first day I see Jill. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Do you know right backstage, the sun tones are back there? <laughs> and the Boston Common and the Bluegrass Student Union. <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't believe that. I walked, I said, man, those, those are the guys that we were listening to on them scratchy records that Dad had. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're right here. Oh my gosh, this is just, uh, this is just amazing. We've, we've had a great week so far. And uh, I know this, the show is, you know, uh, has, has gone on and and on and, and on. Uh, so we're not. Thank you very much. As I recall, when I was a lad, more than anyone else, I looked up.